In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a clean professional website for your Instagram, the kind that makes it super easy to share everything in one place from your latest content to offers, links, any applications that you need. What's up guys, I'm Ashley Robets and this is one of the easiest ways to elevate your online present and give your followers a clear next step. Let's get into it. So today we are going to use WordPress to make the website and you need to start off by choosing a hosting provider for your WordPress site. Some of the popular options include Bluehost, SiteGround, but today we're going to go ahead and use Hostinger. I personally think it's the best deal with all the best features. If you want to follow along and get the best deal possible, click the link in the description to check out Hostinger. So what you'll want to do first is choose a plan that best fits your needs and right now you can actually save 75% off. We're just about to get in the tutorial, don't worry. You also get a 30-day money back guaranteed, but if you click claim deal, they've got a couple different options. They've got a premium website builder and a business website builder. So choose the plan that best fits your needs. The biggest difference between the two is the amount of websites you need to create and the amount of storage that you need. So again, choose what best fits your needs. Let's just say we choose this plan. I just want to show you how you can save even more. What you'll do is click coupon code and type in my first website and click apply. Again, just wanted to quickly show you how you can save even more. But anyways, once you log in and are in the dashboard, what you're going to want to do is go to pages and we're just going to create a brand new page. So we'll click add page. I'm going to say Instagram website. Actually, we're just going to call it links and we're going to go in ahead and edit with Elementor. This is a plugin that you can use. They also have a free version. I personally think this is the easiest and most intuitive page editor in WordPress. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to drag a container. We'll drag a container over here and then we're going to add a heading within the container. Then let's say Ashley's link. We'll go ahead and move that to the center and we can go ahead and change the typography over here. You can edit the keystroke. Maybe we actually want this in all caps. Cool. We can also change the color. We'll keep everything one color for now and then we can go back and edit that. After this, what we'll want to do is we'll go ahead and click add element. Let's just add another container under here. Amazing. So maybe this will be a photo that we'll add just to make it cutesy. Again, we'll kind of come back and add that. I kind of like to do the structure and the outline first and then go in and add the details. So what we can do next, we want to add some buttons for our links. Oh, before that, actually, I always highly recommend just adding a container. It just kind of keeps things clean. And then we can go ahead and add the button. Now let's go ahead and put this in the center. Now let's just say this first one is going to be our one-to-one -one coaching application. Amazing. Let's go ahead and I kind of like that font. I think it's clean, but let's go ahead and change the background color. Maybe we want to make it a little more bright. You also can just copy and paste a hex code right there. Okay, and if we want a second color, we can have that. We want a gradient or we can change it to just be a single color. Maybe we want the text to be, you'd be able to read that. Okay, so since we're going to have a bunch of different buttons, you just want to customize whatever you want the button to look like before we duplicate it. So now what we can do is duplicate. So so maybe you want to say check out my website maybe this one is group coaching application maybe we want to duplicate and say YouTube channel and maybe we want to separate these out too so what we can do is we'll do a container and within here we can go ahead and add a heading and maybe this is you know work with me and that's where your one-to-one -one coaching application will be under there and your group coaching and then maybe we want to do a another container and we'll go ahead and add another heading maybe we want this to be learn more about me and again we'll want to put this in the center and then we'll go ahead and check out my website youtube channel okay perfect and maybe we want to change the fonts maybe we want to change the colors whatever it may be but now you know how to do that and just for time's sake let's just go ahead and add maybe a photo and mess around with this so you can go ahead and choose an image you can choose from a media library and we want to select this photo. So again, this is just the bare bones, but it's very simple and easy to use. 
use to just put all of your links with a bunch of different buttons. So what you would do to actually add the links is go ahead and make sure you're adding the link right here. So you go to content. So we'll just go to my coaching application. So go ahead and add that link there. You'll want to add in your group coaching application, maybe your website link, your YouTube channel, and then we'll go ahead and preview changes. See what it looks like. Again, we've got the bare bones, but we're getting somewhere. If we click on it, we've got it right to the application. Okay. You can just X that out. And you also can go ahead and see what it looks like on a phone, on a tablet. So you really want to make sure it all looks good. Okay. So obviously we could play around with this, make it a lot cuter, change the background, maybe make the picture as the background. But I just wanted to quickly walk you through how you can do this very, very simply using WordPress and Hostinger and Elementor. But just to kind of show you a little bit of what else they have. So with the basic version of Elementor, you can add text, you can add images, there's a text editor, you can add video, divider, spacer, button, Google Maps, WordPress forms, and icons. The other thing too is even though this doesn't seem like there's a ton to do here, within each of the widgets, you can customize them completely. So you can not only change the color, the font, the width, but you also can add motion effects. So if you wanted them to have any movement and scrolling effects or change the background. So you can really customize this to be whatever it is that you want, especially if you're someone creative and you like to play around with this kind of stuff. WordPress and hosting your own Elementor is such a great combo to do so. So once you are done editing it, all you have to do is go ahead and click publish and your site is ready to go. You can copy the link and put it in your Instagram bio and now everyone will know exactly how to find you and learn more about you. That wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out Hostinger in WordPress, I've left that link in the description below. And don't forget, if you want to save extra, don't forget to use my first website at checkout on Hostinger, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.